All right, so Matt, let's get back to you for a second. Now that we've talked about this thing, let's show what a physical audio article is. Can we do that? Turn on your mic, Matt. I turned down the music. I did mine. So oh, you there thank you. Go. you. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. <laughs> Let me uh, share my screen. Got the audio shared. Okay. So you should be able to see um, the Signals website. Uh, this day in history. Y'all see that? Yep. Okay. This is a kind of a cool story. I love the Beatles. Let's listen to this one. So what we have just to give you a tour um, is we've got the headline and then right under that, we've got a little ad here. We'll talk more about that in a second. You'll hear the ad read at the beginning of the story. Then we've got the audio player and then we've got the story. So you can listen and kind of look at the pictures and read the story at the same time. Let's uh, give this. Well, hold on before you play it. Oh, yeah, okay. sure. Just, this is a story that yeah. the guy's team created yep. Yep. normally and just popped it into the CMS and this right. is all dynamic and it happens. So you didn't write the story. You're just the background that creates. Right. Okay. Go ahead then. Exactly. Yep. This is just a, a WordPress website that they're publishing on. So here we go. Audible stories made possible by the Prescott hearing center. Get your free hearing test today. It was just 57 years ago today, February 9th, 1964 when the Ed Sullivan Show hosted four men that were about to become a world sensation. Ed Sullivan, America's King of Saturday Night, booked the new sensation for four shows, each with a massive viewership above 70 million. Though this was the Beatles' first American television appearance, their album I Want to Hold Your Hand had already made the number one spot on the Billboard charts, and thus, with their meeting with Ed Sullivan... Okay, the Beatles pause it now. Audible that, that, is, by the that is not a paid guy from fiber right professional right. voice that is right a computerized it's sounding a lot better than my phone system voice the one that we pay 39 dollars a month or more so we've gotten right. to a point now where there's inflection are you stuck mm -hmm. with just the male voice like that or can you go in different right. directions no we're not stuck let's take a look at the wilson county news i'll let you hear what uh, the female voice sounds like so this is their website uh i won't play as much as this one just to give you a, a sample okay Audio articles on Wilson County News made possible by Witz Barbecue Steaks and Catering in La Vernia. Large industrial facilities sprouting up near Floresville. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's there's all kinds of different male, female, different accents that you can choose from, uh, different you know patterns of speech. Um, there's a lot of different options. What this guy mentioned earlier. Yeah, what guy. happens when they mispronounce? Was it was that correct? Is the town La Vernia? Kristen, did you get it right or wrong? It's Lavernia. Okay, that you got that right because I remember being an announcer right. when I was at right. radio, having to learn how to pronounce all the towns. Um, right. My phone system still calls me Mike Blinder for that sort of right. guy, but it's really Blinder right. guy. I'm not even right. upset. It's really cool. Can you correct? <laughs> Let's assume there's a name of a town that's always getting mispronounced. Can you right, that? right. No, that's a great question. That, that's really where we're at at this point in terms of the tool we're working on mechanisms to to provide that feedback because you know what we have here is basically we're, we're based on wordpress which is open source software that allows us to create these features very quickly using pre-built systems and so you know we've used we built a lot of this on amazon web services but now we're going to get into it and start you know modifying uh, how it translates um, but what we have here is basically what what they can do out of the box all right, so this is, this is if any media company just wants to put an audio play on their page. That just simply means you'd still search the website as normal. Um, right. You can find the player. What about if I have an app? I have an app right now from right. a company called um, Press Reader. Right. Can that RSS feed feed this to the app so people can press it on their phone and listen to stories as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in our, as long as it can receive an RSS feed, then yes, yes we, we, we sh can plug that in. Um, we actually, I don't believe we've tested it yet, but we do have our own native apps. Um, so, I mean, I saw a guy nodding earlier. One thing I will just point out, on his app, we, we do already have these on the article level. Um, but there is this extra step where we package them into a uh, podcast playlist, and that happens on Buzzsprout. That was so going to be my next get ahead of us. That's that next, was going to be my next question. Okay, so yeah. on the on the story level now, if someone has their phone, you they can train them. Okay, guy, you were nodding your head, so you obviously right. figured this out on your app now. If someone wants to work out 
with their headphones on to your news, they can just press the button on their favorite stories and the story will be read to them with these voices, correct? That's that, that's absolutely correct. And that's what we were trying to get to because I don't even get to read all of our stories. So now when I'm shaving or driving, um, right. that a big majority of people listening to podcasts are driving. Yeah, of course. That's, the stats say that. And I was trying to get to that is how do we get into the radio world per se um, and share our news? So that's absolutely right. To simplify it for everybody, because I see some questions in the chat is the stories are being written on the WordPress platform. Uh, the WordPress platform by uh, our hometown is then taking that with the text to speech service and, and transcribing it basically into audible that audible then is taken by the software. I'm simplifying it to the podcast. Our podcast platform that we use is Buzzsprout. So then, and that's, there's a bunch of them. Okay. We use, okay. Let's, we've mentioned this before. I've seen it in the chat. We use, and I'm not advocating it at ENP. I was told to use Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N. It's the same thing. When I finish, when I finish recording a podcast at ENP in this same studio, I simply render it, right? Turn it into an MP4 file. I'm trying, not trying to get geeky to our audience. It's simply an audio file. Upload it to Libsyn type in all the things about it. Here's a description, here's some yeah. keywords, and it pushes it instantly to everything, Stitcher, uh, Apple, yeah, right. iTunes, the same thing as this is what Buzzsprout does for you, correct? Right. Yeah, and that's what I was getting to. So just to give everybody the, the pipeline, if you will, of how it all works is WordPress platform, written story, text-to-speech service translates it to Audible. The, the WordPress platform then sends it automatically to our podcast, the podcast then automatically pushes it out to Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Pandora, Spotify, you name it, just distribution channels. Right. Um, nothing has changed. And so now, depending upon those listeners, if they, they like Google Podcasts or Spotify, it doesn't matter, they now have access to that content. How are, okay, let Kristen, are you doing it similar? Is this, is this, are you using the same platform and pushing things out now? To into the podcast world, or are you just staying in your world on your website where people find this audio on your website? No, we're using the API also on our website, um, and it's feeding into bus route. Just so that you're doing the same exact thing. You're you're extending right. your audience now to the. So right. now, correct me if I'm wrong, Matt. You're the expert on this stuff because I'm 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 an sure. old guy. That can eventually be on my Alexa, correct, or my Google, right. or yep. my Siri. I can just basically train myself to say, hey, Siri, while I'm shaving, if I can use your analogy right. guy. Um, right. When I have, and I have a speaker in the bathroom. I mean, I think a lot of people have them in there. Um, right. And then I can get this news read to me. Is that what we're discussing here right now? That's exactly right. Yeah. Any of those smart speakers, they're all going to have, you know, apps that, um, connect the podcast with the voice recognition software. Yeah, we do that. So let me just see if I can, while we're talking about this, give you a quick demo. Uh, I'm going to activate Siri and ask it to play the Wilson County news on Spotify because that's where I'm subscribed. So you're going live now. You know, that never works when you go live, Matt, take yeah. it from here we go. Play the Wilson County news podcast on Spotify. Can you see that? Okay. Turn it up a little bit. So it came up. It came up, but it's not playing for some reason. <laughs> <I knew it. laughs> of course, of course. I tested 10 times in a row. It did activate it, but um, I had to hit play. So yeah, I mean, the key is that it, it brings the, it opens up the app and it brings up the latest episodes so that you can just hit play. 